Let's see how we can hide the cursor in Unity. All right, we find ourselves back in Unity once more. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how you can hide the mouse cursor in Unity when you're in the game. So usually when you're in the game, of course, you will still be able to see your cursor. However, maybe you want to hide that and maybe also lock it in place. That is going to be an easy thing to do. But this will just make an empty game object and then a new script. We'll call this the hide mouse script. I'll add this to my empty game object and let's open it up and let's see what we need to do. Pretty much we just need to add something to the start method and that is literally just going to be cursor.visible equals false. And all of a sudden your cursor will no longer be visible. And we can actually test this as well. So if I click into the game you can see the cursor is now gone. However the cursor is still moving around like I am still able to move it as the ship is still looking to the cursor and you can see the debug line is still being drawn to the cursor's position. If I want to stop the game, I have to sort of approximate where the cursor is and then it's going to be fine. Or you can also, while in game and clicking into the game window, you can also press the Windows key or the corollary for your operating system to get the cursor back up. And then there's one other thing that's incredibly interesting, and that is the cursor.lock state, which is the cursor lock mode of locked. That, as you can see, locks the cursor to the center of the game view. So if I were to start the game now, you can see I'm trying to move the mouse, but you can see that it basically always reverts back to the very middle of the game and I can't even get out of this anymore. So I have to now once again press the Windows key and then shut the game down. So let's comment this one out, but that could also be very interesting for you to take a look at. And that is how you can hide the cursor in this video right here. We'll also see how you can change the cursor icon. Hope to see you there. So yeah.